Hello friends, myself Dr. Nanda Kumar Rawali from College of Engineering Ambajoge is going to deal with fluid mechanics. So in previous class we have seen some of the numericals on release method for dimensional analysis. Now today we will discuss second method that is Buckingham's Pi theorem. Now, so what this Buckingham's Pi theorem is and why we should prefer Buckingham's Pi theorem. As we have seen that the release method of dimensional analysis becomes more laborious for the variables more than number of fundamental variables. Say for example, fundamental variables are 3 and as the number of variables exceeds 3, then the release method becomes uh, difficult or laborious. So therefore, to overcome this difficulty, we move towards the Buckingham's Pi theorem. This is the second method for dimensional analysis. So now let us assume that there are n variables including dependent and independent variable. So there may be one dependent variable and n minus one independent variable. So including all dependent plus independent say we have n variables and when we have n variables and m uh, fundamental dimensions that is variables. Uh, then we can arrange these n minus m variables in dimensionless terms. So that is say we have m number of fundamental variables. So out of this n minus m number of dimensionless parameters or terms can be defined and those terms which are dimensionless terms and which are in the number that is n minus 1 can be called as pi terms we call these terms as a pi term so these pi terms we can define now we see here let's assume that x1 x2 x3 x4 up to xn are variables involving dependent variables as well as independent variables out of this x1 is a <coughs> dependent variable and rest all are the independent variables so x1 be the dependent variable and x2, x3, x4 up to xn be the <coughs> independent variables. So then we can write this as a function of uh, x1 is the function of all other variables. <coughs> where x1 is, where x1 is uh, dependent variable x2, x3, x4 up to xn are independent variable therefore x1 can be uh, written in terms of the depend independent variables that is x1 is function of x2 x3 x4 and up to xn or if we transfer this term function on left hand side so it gives birth to the new function and on right hand side uh, is uh, going to remain only zero therefore we can write this as another function f uh, which is function of x1 including x1 so therefore <coughs> that becomes another function f which is includes function uh, variables x1 x2 x3 which is equal to 0 we can write it in this way so now if it contains n variables and m fundamental variables out of that we can arrange this as n minus m number of pi terms so these pi terms can be written as function of function of pi terms so this equation above equation can be written in terms of pi function of pi terms so now these pi terms which we are going to arrange as the function of uh, function f of uh, the pi terms at that time each pi term contains m plus 1 variable it contains m plus 1 variable where m is the number of fundamental dimensions and is also called as a repeating variable so this m is nothing but number of repeating variables we are going to choose so what this repeating variable is so repeating variable is going to be present in every pi term say for example we have pi 1 term then pi 2 term so in every pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 so on so in every term these repeating variables are going to appear therefore we call those variables as a repeating variables 
so each pi term is written as say here each pi term is dimensionless and it is written as as pi 1 is equal to <coughs> x2 a to the power of a1 x3 b to the power of uh, x3 to the power of b1 x4 to the power of c1 and x1 so here what we have show, seen is x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and so on are the variables but out of these variables x1 is uh, dependent variable so we uh, do not include this x1 in the repeating variables so x1 is excluded from repeating variables and x1 is taken here so this is pi 1 term in second pi 2 term we can take pi 2 term again repeating variable x2 x3 x4 are going to be there so x1 is used in first that is m plus 1 terms as we say m plus 1 so 1 2 3 is number of fundamental dimensions that is uh, 3 lmt <coughs> mlt mlt are 3 therefore these are the three repeating variables and this is one additional variable that is m plus 1 so everywhere m plus 1 so these repeating variables will be there and this will be a new <coughs> term which will be new variable in this pi term again so on we can have pi 3 term pi 4 term and so on and then we can find finally n minus m terms as we say n minus m pi terms can be obtained and again at the end so we can use this uh, x1 x5 x6 x7 and up to xn but we cannot use in this place we can use only x1 x5 x6 x7 and so on but we cannot uh, use this x2 x3 x4 here because already these terms are uh, included in the repeating <coughs> variables so now we can write this uh, as the pi 1 term is function of all other pi terms or that can be written as function of all pi terms so pi 2 term can be written as function of pi 1 pi 3 and up to pi n minus 1 term so now what we can say here is the repeating variable has to be selected chosen so on what basis a repeating variable is to be chosen first very first uh, as far as possible we should not select a repeating variable uh, uh, as a dependent variable should not be selected as a repeating variable this is first condition a dependent variable means say for example y is equal to m x plus c so x is independent variable and y is dependent variable so this y cannot be selected as a uh, <coughs> repeating variable because y is dependent variable then second repeating variable should be chosen as so there are uh, criteria to choose this uh, repeating variable so how many repeating variables we can choose three repeating variables as equal to the number of fundamental dimensions so fundamental dimensions are m l t there are three fundamental dimensions therefore we have to choose three repeating variables how to choose three repeating variables is an important task in this case so very first first variable is uh, repeating variable it has to be chosen with a geometric property so one variable must contain geometrical property that is it can be length diameter height and so on so it should be it it should represent geometry geometry of uh, it can represent volume then it can represent area so these are the properties which uh, represent geometry of object so first uh, repeating variable must contain geometrical property then second variable must contain flow property just like velocity acceleration angular velocity and so on so second variable must uh, contain flow property and third <coughs> variable must contain fluid property such as density viscosity weight density kinematic viscosity and so on so this third variable must be a fluid property so these are the three uh, type of variables can be chosen as the uh, repeating variable so 
first should have geometrical property second should have flow property third should have fluid property now repeating variable should not form the dimensionless group just like reynolds number so it should not form the dimensionless group then next is should have same number of fundamental dimensions so all the repeating variables should have same number of fundamental dimensions that is m l t 3 so three uh, dimensions fundamental dimensions it should have it should not exceed the number of fundamental dimensions then no two repeating variables should have same dimension say for example velocity is meters per second that is length l t to the power of minus one is the dimension for velocity so no other uh, repeating variable which we have chosen should have this dimension l t to the power of minus one so no two repeating variables should have same dimension so this is the condition for selecting repeating variable now we will discuss a problem so <coughs> how this buckingham's pi theorem method can be used uh, to solve this problem so similar problem we have solved using release method now you can see here the resisting force r of a supersonic plane during a flight can be considered as a dependent upon the length of aircraft l velocity of aircraft v air viscosity mu air density rho and bulk modulus k express the functional relationship between these variables and resisting force so now uh, first of all what we can write is the resisting force as the function of all other variables so which are the variables here that is length velocity viscosity density function of length then velocity then viscosity then density and bulk modulus k so just the uh, same thing we have seen in this uh, release method so there are uh, five one two three four five independent variables and one dependent variable so number of variables total number of variables we have total number of variables is equal to six and number of fundamental dimensions is equal to three therefore we can have m minus n minus m very uh, pi terms n minus m pi terms pi terms how to be defined so we can have n minus m pi terms that is nothing but 6 minus 3 so in this case 3 pi terms we have to obtain so 3 pi terms before obtaining 3 pi terms what we have to do so say pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 terms so that is the function of f is pi 1 function of pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 term so these three terms we have to find so before starting we must uh, find the repeating variables what should be taken as the repeating variable so out of these so one should have geometrical property therefore length is there so length is first repeating variable having geometrical property length is having geometrical property then second term uh, should have flow property so velocity is having flow property v so v is having flow property then mu is having fluid property so either you can take mu or you can take rho or you can take k as the <coughs> fluid property so now we can uh, reach we can proceed for uh, writing the pi terms so first pi 1 term we can define pi 1 term is nothing but pi 1 is equal to 
L to the power of A1, then V to the power of B1, mu to the power of C1, and R, where R is the dependent variable. Then we define pi 2 term, pi 2 term again L to the power of A2, V to the power of B2, mu to the power of C2. Now we have used R. So we uh, now we can use this uh, density uh, rho. Then pi 3 term we can define that is L to the power of A3, V to the power of B3, mu to the power of C3. So R rho we have used. Now left is K that is bulk modulus. Now after having these we can find out the values of a1 b1 and c1 so choosing this first term pi1 term pi1 is equal to l to the power of a1 v to the power of b1 mu to the power of c1 r so now the dimension for pi term is pi terms are dimensionless therefore we can write m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 is equal to l length is having dimension l to the power of a1 then velocity is having the dimension l t to the power of minus 1 l t to the power of minus 1 is the dimension for velocity to the power of b1 then mu is having L M it is having M L to the power of minus 1 T to the power of minus 1 so you can see here this is C1 so we can see here mu L to the power of minus 1 T to the power of minus 1 then force is having M L T to the power of minus 2 M L T to the power of minus 2 so, M, L, T to the power of minus 2 is for resistance. So, now we can write this again. M to the power of 0, L to the power of 0, T to the power of 0, which is equal to L to the power of A1, L to the power of B1, T to the power of minus B1, M to the power of C1, L to the power of minus C1, T to the power of minus C1, then Em to the power of 1, L to the power of 1, T to the power of minus 2. So now taking power of Em, powers of Em, we can find out on left hand 0, power of M is 0 is equal to, so power of Em here is C1. plus of power of m is here 1 so therefore from this we can write c1 is equal to 1 so this is 1 we obtained c1 now taking powers of l powers of l so on left hand side power of l is 0 so here power is a1 plus of b1 we have power here b1 then here minus c1 minus c1 and here is 1 plus 1 we call this as very first we call this as equation number 1 we call this as equation number 2 equation number 3 equation number 4 and this is equation number 5 then this we call as equation number 6 so we don't know values of a b only we know value of c1 now we can collect powers of t so taking powers of t on left hand side power is 0 here t to the power of minus b means minus b1 again minus c1 and here minus 2 
we call this as equation number 7. So in this equation number 7, B1 is equal to minus C1 minus 2 or C1 value we know that is C1 is 1 minus 1 minus 2. So B1 value is minus 3. We get B1 as minus 3. C1 is minus 1. C1 is minus 1. So if it is minus 1, C1 is equal to minus 1. So this will be plus and here it will be minus 1. It will be minus 1. B1 is minus 1. Now we know value of C1 is minus 1. B1 is minus 1. So substituting these values in this equation number 6. So from equation number 6, 0 is equal to A1. B1 value is minus 1. C1 value is minus 1 minus of minus plus 1 and plus 1. So this gets cancelled minus 1 plus 1. Therefore, A1 is equal to minus 1 we can get. A1 is equal to minus 1. A1 is equal to minus 1. How we get minus 1? One minute. A1 minus three C zero. zero. Just a minute. Okay. A1 is equal to minus one. There is no mistake. Okay, now we obtained A1, B1, C1 values like this. So therefore, we can uh, define pi term, pi1 term. So pi1 term, which we have written here as in previous case, pi1 term is L V mu. L to the power of A1, V to the power of B1, mu to the power of c1 into r so pi1 term we can write as l to the power of a1 value is minus 1 then v to the power of b1 value is again minus 1 and value of mu c1 is if we see c1 is also minus 1 so mu to the power of minus 1 R. So, this pi term, pi 1 term can be written as R divided by L V mu, L V mu, R divided by L V mu is the pi term. So, now uh, moving to this pi 2 term pi 2 term we can take this pi 2 term now term pi 2 is equal to l to the power of a2 v to the power of b2 mu to the power of c2 then we have rho so power of this uh, dimension of this pi is m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 l to the power of a2 velocity is meters per second that is l just okay. l t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b2 mu dimension is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 c2 so we can see here mu dimension is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 c2 density is kg per meter cube kg means mass l to the power of minus 3 kg per meter cube so this is uh, the dimension for rho so l v mu and rho so m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 is equal to l to the power of a2 l to the power of b2 t to the power of minus b2 m to the power of c2 l to the power of minus c2 t to the power of minus c2 
Em L to the power of minus 3. <coughs> now connecting powers of Em. So on left hand side 0. Here C2. Here 1. Therefore, C2 is equal to minus 1. Then collecting powers of powers of L. On left hand side, power of L is 0. Then A2 on right hand side, A2 plus of b2 plus of that is minus of c2 minus <coughs> 3 we call this as another equation so we'll write this as equation number 8 this as equation number 8 we write then powers of T we collect. So power of T on left hand side is 0. Then T to the power of minus B2 that is minus B2 minus C2. So we know value of C2 is so B2 is equal to minus C2 or b2 is equal to minus of minus plus 1 b2 is plus 1 so substituting this value of c2 and b2 in equation number 8 this equation we can get a uh, value of a2 so we can write this equation number 8 as a2 is equal to plus 3 minus b2 plus c2 so just Keeping this A2 here, transferring this 3 on other side, it will become plus, B will become minus and C will become plus. So again, 3 minus of 1, value of B2 is plus 1, C2 value is minus 1. So this will be 1, A2 value is 1. So now we can write this pi term. So pi term is given as pi 2 term is given as L to the power of A2, B to the power of B2, mu to the power of C2 or rho. So this is L to the power of A2 means L to the power of 1, V to the power of B2 means again 1, mu to the power of C2 means minus 1 and rho. So this can be written as <coughs> L V rho divided by mu this is pi 2 term so pi 2 term we got here as l v rho divided by mu l v rho divided by mu is pi 2 term so now we uh, move for third term pi 3 term so we obtain first pi 1 term then we obtain pi 2 term here. Now we will try to find out pi 3 term. So to find out pi 3 term, we have to write this as L to the power of A3, V to the power of B3, mu to the power of C3, K. So this is pi 3 term. So equation 4 is taken. This is equation number 4. So writing dimensions of pi is m to the power of 0, l to the power of 0, t to the power of 0, l to the power of a3. Velocity is nothing but l t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b3. <coughs> mu is m, l to the power of minus 1, t to the power of minus 1 to the power of c3. Then <coughs> dimension for k. dimension for k we see here 
modulus of velocity and k that is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 on simplification we can write it as m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 which is equal to l to the power of a3 l to the power of b3 <coughs> t to the power of minus b3 m to the power of c3 l to the power of minus c3 t to the power of minus c3 m <coughs> l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 so collecting powers of m we get on left hand side is 0 so here c3 again here nothing is means 1 so therefore c3 is equal to minus 1 then collecting powers of here on left hand side we have 0 here a3 plus of b3 then minus of c3 then minus 1 we call this as equation number 9 then collecting powers of collecting powers of that is t so on left hand side 0 <coughs> minus b3 minus c3 minus 2 so here we know c3 now we can find out b3 is equal to minus c3 minus 2 so minus c3 c value is minus 1 minus of minus plus 1 minus 2 means this will be minus 1 so value of b3 is minus 1 so here if we substitute in place of c3 as minus 1 minus minus becomes plus minus 2 so this is minus 1 b3 is minus 1 so substituting these values in this equation number 9 we can get value of a3 so a3 can be written as a3 is equal to 1 minus b3 plus c3 just if we transfer this a3 keeping a3 here itself this minus 1 and minus c3 on other side will become plus and b3 will become minus so this is written so 1 minus of b3 b value is minus 1 minus of minus plus 1 c3 value is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled so a3 is equal to 1 so we know a3 value also so now we can write pi 3 term pi 3 term is equal to <coughs> l to the power of a3 v to the power of b3 mu to the power of c3 k so l to the power of a3 value is 1 v to the power of b3 value is minus 1 mu c3 power value is minus 1 and k so that is we can write k divided by l v mu this is pi 3 term <coughs> so we know pi 1 term pi 2 term and pi 3 term so we'll rewrite these terms in the next slide that is pi 1 term which we obtained here r divided by l v mu r divided by l v mu then pi 2 term we have here pi 2 term is equal to L V rho divided by mu L V rho divided by mu 
L V rho divided by mu and pi 3 term is K divided by L V mu K divided by L V mu this is pi 3 term so now we can rewrite these terms or we can write it as a function of So now we can write this as function f as the function of pi 1, pi 2, pi 3 which is equal to 0 or we can write as function f as pi 1 is r divided by L v mu then L v rho divided by mu and k divided by L V mu. So this is equal to 0. Or we can write this as R divided by L V mu is equal to function of L V rho divided by mu and K divided by L V mu. So, or this can be written as R is equal to L V mu function of L V rho divided by mu and K divided by L V mu. So, this is how we can <coughs> correlate resistance with the dependent variables in this way. So thank you, today we stop here and we will discuss few more problems in next class.